That was another one of Siegel's strengths, too. Uh, he'd never let you know. He'd wink at the audience sometimes, and uh, like he played something, you know. And, and he didn't always. It didn't make any difference, you know. He's going to play safe here. Can not shoot at this? Very good shot. Well, I think he's got to take a bank at this. I've got a shot like this. I'm going to go down and shoot it in my pocket. I don't want to play some kind of bunt safety and lose. Well, it's definitely a tough safe. Uh, he's got a tough shot, too, but you always shoot the shot if you have a chance to win. Right, exactly. Okay. Does the six pass the seven? Now, if it does, this is a shot I really like because uh, if you hit it a little bad, the six hits the top of the seven, goes over to the side rail and back. I mean, there's a great chance you don't leave much anyway. Just to make sure you don't hit it too thick. I wouldn't even worry about where the cue ball goes. I'm not even playing position here. I'm going to hit it with no English. And and that's that's fine, right? Nice shot. Okay, now he's got himself in a position to get on the eight ball, perhaps. Now this he can do the same way if he wanted to, except he's hit past the left hand side. Or he could use a touch of inside English. I kind of like the outside from this angle. Just like this. You go past that side, two rails towards the eight. Nice shot. I just think it's a little easier to pocket the object ball uh, using that touch outside, don't you? Yeah, yes, it seems to be a little more natural using outside English. Right. Well, this guy's really a rock-solid player, too. Oh, he sees every natural thing. I have not seen him overlook... Uh, you know, a nice natural route to get position or play safe. Nice shot, nice shot. He's playing with an awful lot of confidence right now. Oh, sure. Okay, two to one. All right, we're going to look and see whether you decide for yourself if you think he played the five rail first off the eight in the other side with a kiss, I think. Watch. There's a kiss. No, there's no way in the world he played that. He, no. Rail first off the eight and then kiss off the cue ball, which is in the middle of the table. If he did that, I'm ready to take him on the road. He just got a little fortunate there. But if you stop and harken back to the last set, so did Efren to, to go ahead a game in a critical spot. Yeah, Efren went ahead five games to four when he missed uh, uh, whatever that the ball two balls. was. Yeah. And he kissed off the eight ball. In right, the exactly. Yeah. Okay, he didn't make anything, I don't think. Now, this is another effort strength here. It, that of being able to shoot a shot like this with inside English and hit it easy. Uh, very tough to do. If I shoot this, uh, I have to draw this with my inside English to get the results I want, which is to go to the in rail. And uh, that's nice. That's so much harder to do than it looks. 
Well, now, if he wanted to, uh, he could even go into the nine here, probably with impunity, or he could kill the ball. Now, Efren's a great option hand player. Right, Ed? Well, he didn't get where he wanted to. Now he has to make a hard shot or play safe. If it goes up in the right-hand corner, he's still got action to, to get out here. Good shot, good shot. Oh, he shot, hit that shot dead perfect. Yep. Okay, now two rails towards the five. Right-hand English. It's a little farther than he wanted to be, but it's probably still going to be fine. All he's got to do here is make the five and pull the cue ball back a little bit. Good shot, good shot. Now we make it to see his left hand again. I don't know if he can reach his right hand. Okay, I guess he can. Okay, now make the seven. The cue ball goes two rails towards the eight. And I see where he postured or postulated that. Now you've got to be careful here on these tough pockets. He cannot cut the eight ball very much to his left. Good shot. Good shot. And our score is going to be two games each. And at any rate, it's been a well-played match to this juncture, Dan. Yeah, I think both these uh, players have found their comfort zone, and uh, they're both playing excellent pool at this point. Yep. Have you seen Efren's Q? Have you uh, ever seen anything like that? No, I don't know anything about it. Uh, who makes it, do you know? I don't know. When I first saw Efren play, uh, you know, about... Uh, 10, 12 years ago. That's the same cue he had back then. And I think that's a cue he brought over from the Philippines. Well, he's stopping that cue ball in the middle of the table. Well, he had a real inexpensive cue uh, back then. Now he's got him. All he has to do is not scratch. The two ball over on the far left-hand side rail, the cue ball two rails behind the 4-6. He needs some right English here. That's assuming he can reach this comfortably. Now the nudeness or lack thereof of the cloth were determined to me. Oh, he decided that to, uh, you know, there's uh, one of the reasons why they called him the magician, right? Uh, that was really a sagacious shot. Uh, the other shot, the one that I selected, is okay, but the way he shot it, uh, you know, it took a little better hit, but there's less chance of scratching. The result's perhaps a little better. I don't know. But he may be the only guy uh, in the world that would play that safety in that fashion. And meanwhile, here... I'm going to the, the in rail for my second rail. I'm going to go two rails and try to go into this ball. He can't make the ball if he does this unless he... He's not trying to jump between the four and six, is he? I, it looks like that's what he's 